Good morning to all and welcome to the session, the Hindu editorial analysis for proficiency in English. But today there is no editorial analysis. I could not download in time because of that uh, there is no editorial analysis. Today you're going to spend time on practice questions based on exam topics. I have brought three exercises very useful and uh, the first five deal with error location. Please read the first one and try to spot the error. That's very good, Kumar. Glad to know that. Descriptive English classes. So glad to know that. All of you, please read uh, the first sentence and try to spot the error. In order to earning decent living, we need to have a good job, which plays substantial amount of money. Whatever you see here, red, underlined, may be right, may not be right. No correction required if it is correct. And if it is not correct, one of the options. Here, in order to, there is a preposition. <clears throat> Please excuse me. I have a bad throat. In order to. After that, you cannot use the verb in ing form, though exceptions are there. You cannot use a verb in the past form, ing form ruled out, and uh, past form ruled out. Only one option stands out, that is C. In order to earn a decent living, you should also use the indefinite article A, a decent living. Thank you very much. Subalakshmi, thank you. So a decent living, that is a standard expression, to earn. It is based on the infinitive, the infinitive, the basic form with two. Very good, you guys got it. Out of five questions, about three questions are easy. As the lawyer was too personally involved, the judge decided to remove him from the case. <clears throat> Please excuse me, I have a very bad throat. I have to clear my voice quite often. Please bear with that. Uh, there is no editorial because uh, they uploaded very late. I could not download in time. That is the reason. I have already announced that. Looks like you have come a little late to the session. Where is the error? Sentence number two. As a lawyer was too personally involved, the judge decided to. Again, you have the preposition to. Then you cannot use a verb in the past form. Remove seems right, not correct. Remove himself. Here you cannot use a reflexive pronoun. And uh, you have to use a pronoun in the object form. Remove him from the case. On the case is not correct. From the case. Answer is the third option. C is the answer. Once the event is over, many people claim credit for success and disowning the responsibility for failure. Where is the error? Once the event is over, many people claim credit for success and disowning the responsibility for failure. <clears throat> Good morning, Chauhan. Pleasant surprise, you're here. That's really good. Once the event is over, many people claim credit for success. Here there's a verb claim, claim credit for success. And uh, if you go with parallel expression, this verb also should be in the present form. Disowning is not correct. Claim credit for success of is not correct. Again, let us remove the verb with ing form. Here you cannot use the verb in the past form. Based on that, once the event is over, many people claim credit for success. Here this also should have been in red. Claim for success, but disown the responsibility for failure. Answer is C, not B. Exactly. They claim, please have a look at this one. They claim credit for success and 
dig for success from here. They claim credit for success, but contrasting information, disown, even here the verb should be in the present form. Claim disown, parallel expression. Yes. <laughs> even you're surprised to see. This I have been doing for the last six months. To practice any art properly, I require extraordinary patience, especially at the beginning. To practice any art properly, I require extraordinarily patience, especially at the beginning. That is true. The beginning is very important. You have to put in a lot of effort. Then things go very smoothly. To practice any art properly, required is not correct. And required, you cannot use the past. You need the verb with S or ES because the sentence is in present. Requiring, again, not correct, I ruled out. To practice any art properly requires extraordinary patience, especially at the beginning. Answer is the second option. If he was to decide to go to college, I, for one, would recommend that he went to Yale University. This is a very good sentence. There's so much to learn from this sentence. I, for one, remember the expression, would recommend that he went to Yale University. Yale University, one of the uh, top universities in the US. If he was to decide, huh, good morning to all of you, a little late. If he was to decide or, yes, the moment you see the word if, you should become alert and you have to think of uh, conditionals. Here, it goes more with uh, hypothetical because would is there. Then if clause we have to use in the past and irrespective of the subject, we have to use a verb. Based on that, had is not correct. Decides again, decide no. If he were to decide, though the subject is third person singular, here you should use the primary auxiliary to be in the past form, plural form. If he were to decide to go to college, that is the answer. I think you guys got it right, almost all of you. Very good. These are, to some extent, challenging. You got to read carefully. Options are very close. As many as 15 people had me at the security check when I was traveling from Delhi, San Francisco should have been here. Monthly PDF, who is this, Krishna? Who is this? Zebra fan of Murti, sir. <laughs> this guy is really... I don't want to complete the sentence. As many as 15 people had approached me, seems right, apprehended me. Apprehend has two meanings. One meaning, apprehension, a feeling that something bad is going to happen. Another meaning, arrest. Arrest someone, apprehend also means arrest. So this is ruled out. Accost, accost means to approach and uh, question someone. To approach someone and question someone, it does not go with, usually it goes with reporters. It does not go with uh, ordinary people. So this is ruled out. Assume, assumption. Had assumed, no, that is not uh, contextually not relevant. Answer is the first option. As many as 15 people had approached me at the security check when I was traveling from Delhi to San Francisco. Answer is uh, the first one. <laughs> He's providing some entertainment. It looks like that. People avoid eating non-vegetarian food. There is excess protein and fat that may be for a good health.
this is uh, the options are very close second one you have to read very carefully people avoid eating non vegetarian food why i know i know impact of covid on life in india i have been telling you guys they will they will definitely ask questions related to covid 19 one of the dimensions but yesterday it was uh, overall impact of covid on uh, in life in india that is good and also a question about drugs traditional drugs i suppose one of our students mr kumar has already informed thank you all the same people avoid eating non vegetarian food because seems right as since not withstanding does not go with this context but all the three express a reason because and since used for a strong reason as and for for a weak reason now you have to decide based on the second word what is the reason because is excess protein and fat that may be pernicious means harmful counterproductive for a good health counterproductive opposite result you get harmful so what is a better word in this context you have to go with the word that goes with effective english counterproductive goes with a different context not in this context so this is ruled out you have to decide between you have to decide between pernicious and harmful both mean the same but which word goes with effective english pernicious based on that answer is the first option not the third option i hope it's clear okay that is good <laughs> if i know also i will not reveal prasads this is not the platform to be revealed those things indian economy has seen many but this one but when it comes to fillers you have to understand the context pressy usage of drugs by humans in ancient and modern era okay usage of drugs by humans in in the past and in the present that's an interesting one in the past more herbal and now a different uh, scenario altogether indian economy has seen many what down swings you can consider downturns you can consider fluctuations you can consider aberrations aberration means abnormality going off their track abnormal aberration they all mean the same indian economy has seen many again you have to decide based on the second word bed death bed here there is a clue for you sound sound the death knell knell means a sound of a bell one thing death knell also means the end of something the final stroke if you read the newspapers regularly you will definitely choose the second option answer is b but imagine you haven't been reading a newspaper regularly then you wonder which option no other option can be considered only one option that is b indian economy has seen many many one more clue plural downturns plural but this one will surely sound the death knell this is a standard expression what is it death knell means a final stroke the end of something a, a person who reads the newspapers regularly one reading he knows the answer is b but i don't see not even only a few students have chosen uh, b i appreciate all those students that is really good not easy based on contextual awareness based on your exposure to the language that's good you should be very happy question number 3 not easy ah very good raj shekhar after a long time you have written all the word forms noun form adjective form 
adverbial form that is good. I was lucky to have the plane crash and come out. There's a blank. Otherwise, the meaning changes. I was lucky to have the plane crash. The meaning completely changes. Exactly. That is good. That is good. Those who have got it right, be happy. Not an easy one. You should be very happy about that. I was lucky to have sur survived. It goes with plane crash, the context. Obviously, you can use survive. I was lucky to have lived. You cannot use this verb. Survive, you can consider. Lived through, again, does not go with a plane crash. You have to decide between the first one and the third one. I was lucky to have survived the plane crash and come out non-injured. I was lucky to have survived the plane crash and come out unscathed. Answer is a third option. Unscathed goes with uh, effective English, one thing. And also it means without any injuries, escaped without any injuries. Again, if you read the newspaper regularly, this is an easy one. One reading, before you see the options, you will think of this word. And when you see the options, you know for sure this is the answer. It is a it is given that it is given that Japan would stem its economic by so some problem with uh, design. It must be rolling out. Exactly, that is right. <laughs> we have all sorts of names here. What is the answer? Downslide you can consider, downturn you can consider, slide no, slow down you can consider. It is given that Japan would stem its economic downslide or downturn by rolling out to its people. Here, in is ruled out, it should be. After, not correct. Answer is a B. Today, I have brought words from, usually if you take the passage, all of you listen very carefully. Here, we have the problem. A particular slide I can present, maybe, uh, about uh, 50 words, not more than that. And if I have to bring a passage, I have to use about 10 slides and not easy for you guys to go through. All the 10 slides to answer the questions based on the passage. You all know when it comes to uh, doling out, dole out, when it comes to passage, uh, five questions are based on comprehension. Five questions are based on the meanings of words based on the context. Five or four. So today I have brought uh, in isolation in the sense these are part of a passage, but still you should be able to get the answer. Two questions based on uh, synonyms and two questions based on antonyms. Affluent, what does it mean? Or what is a synonym? Penurious, impecunious, destitute, deprived. All these are synonyms. Penury, poverty, and destitution, impecunious, all mean the same. Deprived goes with uh, property, it goes with wealth. It also goes with uh, privileges. So only one option is not a synonym of these words. Answer is that one, opulent. Here, affluent, rich, very rich, wealthy. Exactly, that is right. No way. Who is this? Not at all. Let us go to synonyms. Sec second question. This is rather easy. Narrowed, wide, broad, spacious, capacious, from the word capacity, and constricted. Even here you have to choose the synonym. Narrow, opposite, wide or broad. 
but here they want the synonym this is opposite this is opposite this is in a way opposite in a way opposite answer is a fifth option constricted constricted also means narrow now you have two questions one is uh, uh, two questions based on antonyms opposite i'm i feel okay i feel all right why why that question only thing a bad throat sore throat otherwise no issues oh that's a nice one narrow down the chances of my failure glad to know that doctrine usually it goes with uh, philosophy and uh, belief in something we use words like all these are synonyms doctrine creed dogma belief conviction i would like to say something with a lot of conviction means strong belief and here they want the opposite all these belong to one group belief opposite is you doubt skepticism who is a skeptic one who doubts no it is not d it is a e conviction also means the same belief strong belief in something conviction this conviction is different convicted that is different here obviously the answer is doctrine means belief opposite skepticism you don't believe in something this is a little difficult not at all, not at all easy exactly and let me tell you guys these these questions some of these questions are from sbi mains sbi junior assistant mains for you guys these questions should be very easy look at the standards this is a bit difficult what is the answer for c why expatriate expatriate is a person who goes out of the country why do you say that is the opposite no 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 how enroll it cannot be c answer should be the last one yes very good who is this nivas is the only one to get that expatriate does not uh, go with this enroll you have enrolled in something and you are part of it but you are not enrolled still you are offering your service volunteer answer should be yes i see apsar also got it right enroll opposite volunteer answer is a fifth option not c why c here expatriate enroll means here it is enroll not enthralled enthrall means to make someone happy to make a positive impact that's what i said at the outset i said the same thing prasads so that's all uh, for today but before i wind up the session i would like to tell you guys i'm starting a new channel please give me 5 minutes i'm going to start a new channel uh, murthy's bank exams a separate channel for bank exams and every day you are going to have a session may not be for an hour maybe for 30 minutes initially but there we are going to talk only about bank exams a separate channel now this channel goes with editorial uh here i do only the editorial plus i also bring questions based on value addition in the sense practice questions based on exam topics you should have come exactly at 8 o'clock then you would have known uh so exclusive channel for bank exams murthy's bank exams so all of you wait for that today or tomorrow i'm going to launch and uh, that is going to help you guys uh, a lot i'm going to bring very useful stuff from bank exams point of view thank you very much for being with me and uh,
I will see you guys tomorrow with an editorial. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.